Operation Warp Speed Chief Advisor Dr. Monsef Slawi has submitted his resignation at the request of the incoming Biden team. He'll stay for 30 days to help with the transition. Monsef Slawi joins us now. Dr. Slawi, thanks for being here this morning. Tell us about this situation, what you've been asked to do, uh, and what the transition is going to look like. Good morning, Meg. Well, listen, yes, I have submitted my resignation letter yesterday to the current administration, thanking them for uh, giving me the opportunity to help our country and our people, as well as people of the world, and really uh, first very satisfied that uh, significant progress has been made in discovering the vaccines, developing them, making them available. We have already two vaccines uh, approved and two more coming in. Uh, and as I had said, actually, early in December, prior to any approval of vaccine, that once two vaccines would be approved and two medicines would be approved under the auspices of the operation, it would probably be time for me to move on and go back to my private life and private business. I have decided to actually prolong my tenure in order to support the new team as they come in. Uh, as you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very supportive of this uh, upcoming administration and really, of course, of the operation and its mission. And uh, I will be doing everything I can to help them succeed um, as part of that process, which I understand they have asked me to resign from my role as the uh, operation uh, scientific advisor, uh, chief scientific advisor. I will uh, support the leadership that they will put in place. Uh, it's not yet clear uh, exactly how it is in every possible way. We have found a contractual arrangement that allows me to step down from the role as of uh, January 21st, yet remain under the right confidentiality uh, agreements, etc., by serving a notice under my agreement of 30 days uh, that will uh, lapse by February 12th. So I look forward to really helping the new team and continuing, of course, to work very hard and support the, the hundreds of great talent in the operation and the thousands and tens of thousands that have participated to this effort and continue to succeed. Mm. You mentioned uh, you're not sure, you know, if there's somebody who will take your role. We're a week away uh, from the time when you won't be chief advisor to Operation Warp Speed anymore. From your interactions with the incoming team, um, are you confident it will be a smooth transition? Is Are, are the interactions happening to transfer that knowledge and uh, allow the new team to really hit the ground running? Or are we going to be seeing a bit of a bumpy transition here? Meg, having spent 30 years in a very large organization, I'm acutely aware that leadership is important, but nobody is indispensable. And uh, therefore... Uh, what's more important, frankly, is that there is a team that has done a, an absolutely remarkable job up to now, and I have every confidence they will continue doing this job. I am hopeful and confident that the new administration will put in place the right people and the right leadership to take over, and I can guarantee them and everybody that I will give every single ounce of energy I have to do what I have done over the last eight months, which has helped this progress and succeed. And uh, by February 12th, uh, uh, my contract will be finished, but my commitment to help in any appropriate way will continue to be there. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.